Welcome back everybody. I'm Oji and I have a mission as usual. Today's mission is to go to the sun or more accurately since this is Kerbal Space Program 2 it's to go to Kerbal. Let's get going. Yeah yeah countdown whatever. I want to thank just a GN for reminding me about going to the sun. I, I did have it on my mind, but I forgot to add it to my list. So now we're just going to do it because I think it could be quite easy to do. It should be quite easy to do. I hope. The rocket I'm using is my MPR or multi-purpose rocket something I designed about a week ago for multi-missions. I took it to Bop to search for the Kraken and I also used it in the video I recorded yesterday where I went to Tylo to look at the alien memorial there. I aim to get this video out before that one. We'll see if that happens. Please don't crash into the rocket and break things. Please don't crash into the rocket and break things. Okay, we're good. Yeah, she's got a little bit of noodle rocket syndrome, but not too bad compared to many others. I've had worse. It is at this stage that I worry that I've made my apoapsis too low and could fall back into the atmosphere. Time will tell. So it looks like I've made my apoapsis too low and will fall back into the atmosphere. Okay, you good people hold on here. I'm going to try my launch again and I'll bring you back in <laughs> when I've been a little more successful. This orbital velocity is increasing though. Maybe I should ride this out. No, 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 that's not gonna work. No. Okay, so I've launched again, but my rocket is not holding the heading so well. We'll see how this goes. Seems to be okay. Let me get into orbit and then we'll chat again. I noticed there's a problem with time warp that I hadn't picked up before. If you set it to follow a prograde vector, even if you're in fizz warp, the first three settings of time warp, your rocket stays on the same heading, which isn't good. What is good is that things look like they're going better for me this time. Hey, 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 hey. 
I can't believe I've done this again. I forgot how I configured this rocket. And that's not working in my favor. I'm supposed to keep on burning at max thrust all the time because the second stage is weak. But I forget that. However, I think I'm going to be okay. I will get to the sun somehow. Oops, I'm not facing in the right direction. I'm a bit late on the burn. Oh well, too bad. Wait, what? What is going on? Whatever. Don't know, don't care. Burn, baby, burn. Ah, oh, come on. Yes, I will be glad to get rid of this weak stage. Puny rocket. Puny. Go. Goodbye. Be off with you. I am done with you. You suck. Alrighty. Let's see the trajectory I'm on now. What? What? What happened? Oh, come on, game. Seriously, now. Oh, whatever. Just burn prograde. What happened there? I'm going to have to review the footage to check, but... I don't think I did anything wrong. I might have. Let's get out of the... SOI of Kerbin and we'll take it from there. Come, move you stupid thing. Okay, that should be me leaving the SOI. Right, so now my orbit is relative to Kerbal. Kerbal. And now I can burn retrograde and create a nice close periapsis. I think I will try to orbit the sun really close. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens if I can get into orbit. And then I will try to impact into the sun. Because that's always such a good idea. I'm thinking that circularization is not going to happen. That could require a lot of delta V. I don't know, it's it's not something I normally do, burn around the sun. So I don't know. Alright. Quick save. Let's head on over to the sun and see what happens. Wow! I should have packed my sunglasses. Oh, that is... That's pretty blinding. Ah, I can use my rocket to shield me from the sun. And now you see it, now you don't. Now you see it, now you don't. Ooh, I still have the RCS thrusters on. Uh -huh. Let's get a little closer.
Well, this is unexpected. How very KSP2. Big bright orb. I turn towards it and it vanishes. And then it reappears. Perhaps I'm in the corona or something? Not the virus. The thing around the sun. This is pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to try for the uh, circularization burn. I doubt it'll work, but let's see. No, I'm, I'm almost certainly going to run out of fuel. I can do this all day. Oh, come on, have I forgotten the nose cone again? Yeah, every time I use this rocket, I forget about that okay. stupid nose cone. Oh no, oh no, the camera problems are starting. Oh, that is not what I wanted. Maybe the nose cone triggers the camera problems? Yeah, if you don't know what I'm talking about, the camera no longer centers on the vessel. See how the vessel is moving? It shouldn't be doing that. Okay, I'm gonna quick load. Must be something to do with this nose cone that causes these camera problems. And if you watch my Tylo video, whether that is before or after this one is, you'll see what I'm talking about with the camera problems. They are substantial. Okay, you know what? I don't think I'm going to mess around with this. I'm just going to load my game. Go back to Apoapsis and burn my way closer until I'm practically in the sun. Okay. Aim the right way and burn. Periapsis, quarter of a million and dropping. What shall we go for? A hundred thousand? Is that still too far? Now let's do a hundred thousand ish. Okay. Quick save that. And let's go take a look. Oh, wow. Oh, man. This is brilliant. Now, this is why I love KSB2. Oh, every time I hate this game so much because of things like the camera problem, it shows me things like this. It reminds me of E.T. in the little basket on the front of the bike, passing ahead of the moon. That is amazing. Yeah, I'm totally doing this on purpose. Playing around with the cameras. How cool is that? Okay, okay, awesome. Quick load. We're going to get even closer. Okay, 90,000 is not close enough.
Let's do 50,000. Save. Wow. Well, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little disappointed. It looks just like the 90,000. I mean, it's kind of cool. Whoa. Oh, I've lost the sun. There we go. Wow. Okay, let's get really close. Oh, maybe that's the problem. I wasn't at periapsis. Yeah, that was the problem. I was just being an idiot again. That's so cool! Sorry, I'm just playing around with the camera for effect now. Look at that. Look at it. It's brilliant. You don't see that every day. Rewind. And again. Yes, I would mess that up. Or inspiring stuff. This is so cool. But if you want to see even more epic space shots, stay tuned to this channel and watch my 2001 A Space Odyssey ripoff, which I'm busy working on. It's going to be good. Why is my phone beeping all the time? Shut up phone, you're supposed to be on silent. Let's get closer. Fifty thousand is too far away. Um, ten thousand, ten thousand kilometers. That ought to do. Okay. Getting there, getting there. All right, that's really close. And something is making the cameras unhappy. See this. That's not normal. So I'll just manually select the camera. Unfortunately, it looks like we've become, well, we've gotten so close to the star now that we are sort of too close and the textures have become blocky. So, 10,000, not the greatest for viewing. But it's still cool to be here. You know what would be even cooler? If we go closer. Is it just me or did that Kerbal sound really depressed now? It's like, he is going to crash into the sun. Okay. I 
I didn't quick save the last one because I didn't know if it would be totally disastrous or not. Let's quick save here. And now we'll take the periapsis negative. In other words, an impact. I think I'll just go until this stage is out of fuel. Okay. That's cool. Let's take a look. Let's turn prograde. We'll head boldly towards the sun. Where's the sun? Oh, it's at that distance again. The weird distance. <laughs> you wouldn't think I'm so close to the sun. You can't even see it. But it's right ahead. Get closer. Come move whoa okay i can only surmise that i am now in the sun strange thing is i have a dark side and a light side this side is brilliantly illuminated this side has nothing and looking from the nothing dark side we should be looking towards a sun if there is one but there isn't because i'm in it yeah i am in the sun so what happens if i keep traveling through the sun oh now this is a problem I can't go faster than three times time warp. See this weird black shadow cutting off the orbital lines? That must have something to do with... Well, it's not the outer perimeter of the sun. Some sort of inner perimeter? I don't know. There's a black hole in the sun! <gasps> Black hole sun. Yet I can still see the stars through it. So it's a pretty cheap black hole. Okay. Well, at least now we know what happens if you go into the sun. Why does it look like I'm not in the sun? Well, oh, I mustn't zoom out. Then it looks like I'm not inside it. I would hate that. I am totally in the sun. I hope you've enjoyed this little trip to the center of Kerbal with me. Stick around. I have other great videos coming out soon. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you soon. OG out. From the center of the sun. <laughs>